Now, here's another law of prophecy. Let's see if you like this one. <laughs> the law of here and there. All right. Okay. <laughs> We're just making laws out of just everything here because the whole life is about laws. It's about laws and principles. Uh, Prophet Deb, why don't you read the first part of this law? From here, you can get anywhere. From here. Now, you know, right from here, right now, at the point in space and time you are in right now, you can go anywhere from this point. From here, you can get anywhere. And one of the things I've been doing some reading, you know, uh, when you think about therapy, if people that need, you know, people that go to therapy or people that need therapy, one of the things that I've found out that you need therapy if you keep missing opportunities. If there's always a harvest in view, and sometimes how you keep missing it, you need to go to find out why you keep kicking away the opportunity, missed opportunity. If you had a child that was sitting in class, says, okay, you went to school every day, which was great, but you learned and took nothing in from the teacher. You were retarded in your growth. That's a missed opportunity. You had the opportunity to be educated. So I want to ask you a question, which many of you don't even think about it. How many opportunities have you missed in your lifetime? Yesterday during the um, conference call, we gave an assignment to people that was right here out of this business of getting rich. And we told them to name about seven things, I believe it was, seven things in their environment in their surrounding, that could be a resource. And then, the next thing we want you to think about, how could you mix your mind with what is in your environment to create something new out of the resource around you? Wow. So, the question is, what are you going to do about your future? From here, you can get anywhere. Prophet Cynthia, why don't you read the next point for us? Awareness begins at your starting place, and you must become aware of where you are going. Good. If you don't know where mm -hmm. you're going, you're lost. You've got to become aware of where you are going. Prophet General, read the next thought. Never announce your inability to accomplish your journey. Mm. Prophet Kelly, what does that say to you? You'll never admit your deficiency or your weakness, because if you do, it will have to be magnified in your experience. Mm. So never announce your inability to accomplish your journey. The next thought, Prophet Kelly. Accept the distance between the start and where you desire to be. <laughs> and you know, many people don't get far because they never accept the distance between the law of here and there of where I am right now, which is the start, and where I desire to be. Some people see where they desire to be, but then they don't like the journey that they have to take, and so they keep delaying it because they like instant gratification. Mm. Master Prophet? Yes. Because between here and there is time, and no one likes to wait or hang out in time. You know what? And that's why it's called seed time. Time. and harvest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody like the harvest. Yes. I got the seed, but I don't like hanging out with time because, you know, that could be indefinite. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it has no real defining points. And see, that's why you begin to understand that giving is Stripping my present in order to enhance my future. Then what is borrowing? I'm going to tell you since, you know, we're talking about recession. What is borrowing is when you strip your darn future to enhance your present. <laughs> and you know a lot of people are in trouble because they don't strip their future and they have nothing for their present. That's why you sow the seed, because when you sow the seed, you're stripping something away from your present in order to enhance your future. And if you want to get an uncommon future, 
you got to give an uncommon seed. And tonight, I want to believe God that there's 10 people that are watching us by way of live streaming that will do a $1,000 seed tonight and give what I will call an uncommon seed so you can experience an uncommon future. Okay, Prophet Taylor, let's look at these scriptures here. Genesis 1, 3 through 5 says, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Okay, now this is the law of here and there. The first place where there was mention was when God spoke. Mm -hmm. A matter of fact, it was the <laughs> second word that God spoke because the first word was what? Let. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So the wow. first word was what? Let. Let. The second word was what? There. there. And the third word is what? Be. be. Is be the word I am? Is that yes, the verb is. I am? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So what Jesus, yeah. well, what God was actually saying, let me be yes. mm -hmm. light. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Just working with a little grammar yeah. here. Amen. Let me be light. Mm. The law of here and there. And what happened, Prophet Skelly? And there was light. And there was light. <laughs> Let me be that house. And guess what? And there was that house. Let me be a billionaire. And there was a billionaire. Let there be. When you understand let there be, then you'll understand the conjunction and there was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something? When you declare let there be, there will be a conjunction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Because, see, you are now interacting in time and space. You're bringing something from an invisible realm into a visible manifestation. By saying, let there be, and holding that thought in consciousness until that thing begins to answer back and said, here I am. The law of here and there. Now, I've never heard this taught nowhere. Mm. <laughs> but it's taught here on streaming. Because you want to know the distance between here and there? It's in thought. <laughs> and thought, spirit has a way of closing up that thing that you don't like hanging out in called time. Mm. Because while it is processing or in the process of time, you can still have the experience and thought because time, real time, is not your truth anyway. Yes. Oh, 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 oh my oh, goodness. Shot. Yes. Oh, my God. It's Kamashanda. <laughs> real time <laughs> is yes. not your reality. Hallelujah. Yes. That's why I can sow today the $1,000 seed because real time is not my reality. When is the harvest coming? As far as I'm concerned, the harvest is here. But you haven't seen anything yet. You're $1,000 short. Nope. I'm 100000 richer. Where? We don't see it because it's in the law of here and there. Amen. I said, let there be the seed. Mm. And the mm. seed answered back and said, now let there be the harvest. Mm. The law of here and there. Let there be. Let there what? Be. be. Let there be. Read on. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Now the question is, when did God see the light? Because, see, the human mind that has the mark in his forehead and the mark in his hand, and that's the mark of the beast, which is 666, looking at it as man, would say God saw the light 
after he said, let 